we're going to be doing a two-part episode going over the winter 2009-2010 anime season. We've watched a total of 11 anime this season, at least the first episodes that have come out so far. Yeah, exactly. I'm um, going to be talking about, yeah, pretty much. I'm uh, going to be talking about all of them. Going kind of in order from shows that we liked to shows that we didn't like so much, uh, very roughly. So starting out at the top with a show that a lot of folks have been talking about, Sora no Oto, which is broken up in about three or four different ways um, in terms of the title. It's, it's basically k on with soldier uniforms. Um, pretty girls in Spain, um, they're all, they all play instru musical instruments for the army, of course. <laughs> um, beautiful artwork, lovely animation, um, but very much a light day-by-day -day comedy about silly girls, basically, was, was my reaction. To hold you over for k second season, um, if you're a k fan, th this is your show, um, or if you're looking for something very similar to k uh, but for people who haven't really gotten into that, uh, it's pretty slow but it's definitely like one of those relaxing shows it's very specifically that um so that doesn't sound interesting don't don't bother <laughs> if you've seen nia under seven yeah <laughs> kind of have a renme that kind of a, a style to it of not like not like having a renme no 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 um but just kind of that kind of slow style slice of life yeah slice of life definitely um but definitely pretty uh next very up pretty. uh our lowly show well one of the lowly shows uh dance in the vampire bund Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is about, um, I'm going to try not to spoil too much about it, um, the, m the main queen of the vampires is a lowly. Um, in the manga, at least, she gets naked a lot. Um, but it's not sexual at all. Yeah, um, right. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> um, but what's interesting is that the first uh, episode aired, and it's got a very different... Um, uh, story, actually, at least for the first episode, than the, the, the manga. They started off very differently, and it has this very, um, it actually might be a little bit of some of the stuff that, like, Ghost in the Shell standalone Complex would do, or, or Lane, where you'd have just a really weird episode that doesn't really seem to have anything to do with anything, and they slowly work it into the plot line. Um, not to say Vampire Bund is as good as those shows, but the, it's, it's definitely, um, it definitely tries something very different. Uh, basically, the first episode is a, a TV show. I said like a, a weird Japanese TV show, a standard Japanese TV show, and so we get to see kind of what that what that looks like. So um, more serious, I'd say, um, trying to be artistic. I, I don't know. It's Shaft. Um, mm -hmm. th this is the Shaft show, and ever since Bakemono Guitari, the internet's been like, "Oh my gosh, uh, what's gonna happen next?" Uh, with Shaft and friends, and you know, yeah, uh, it's. I feel like the show hasn't started yet, so, you know, the first episode was like, oh, okay, it's it's here, okay, it's it's here, and that's it. Like, there's nothing really keeping me there. I'll definitely come back for episode two, but... The first episode nothing... is very much prologue set up. Yeah, yeah. like, and it's almost not even that. I mean, it's, mm. it's very bare bones, and it, it's not a terrible episode, but I was a little bored. It's a um, teaser, really. Yeah, that's what it feels. It feels more like a trailer than in a, than a first episode. Um, you're also uh, <laughs> for most of it, your like your view is the uh, the camera for the TV show, which I thought was sort of cool because you get knocked over and <laughs> yeah, um, and you're going always going in and out and between different things and yeah. stuff like that. That that was sort of cool. And the people at Shaft are definitely you know cool people who know what they're doing. Um, yeah. So this is definitely on the to watch list, but first episode, as far as first episodes go, I'm I'm not really impressed. Yeah, yeah, it like you say, we'll, we'll have to see where it goes, but uh, definitely, yeah, different. We'll we'll see. Um, it was okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Durarara, which is yeah, by the folks who made Bacano, which as I think we said before, if you've seen Bacano, you'll be watching Durarara. <laughs> um, yeah, and you'll be watching it because there's a little clip of Akano in Durarara, as well as a bit of Horo. I'm not joking. Um, very different sort of setup, though. Set up very much in the modern world, but uh, with a, an interesting little fantasy twist. Not quite our world. And um, actually, two things. That are like That really doesn't happen in, in our world. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But definitely, I think you uh, you talked you described it at one point as being literally like a tour of the city. Yeah, well, I'm 
the setup of the first episode of Dulala is uh, that the protagonist is finally moved to this, uh, is it a college? Uh, I don't know, he's, he's studying in Tokyo and he's never left town and blah, 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 and his, his best friend uh, is there and, you know, been waiting for him. Yeah, so he, he shows him around town and the first episode is literally, you know, being shown around town. You, you get to meet everybody, or not everybody, but almost everybody that we think we're going to encounter for the next, what is, is this 24 episodes? Um, I'm not sure. It might be, uh, wow. but... You know, for the which would be awesome, really, because these people really deserve it. But um, you know, it, this is again sort of a like I feel like I just wet, read the website for this show mm. almost because like, yeah, it, it was yeah. good to see, but like honestly, it was you know nothing I couldn't have picked up from an article or something like that. But it, it wasn't bad, obviously. It's just sort of like okay, I'm waiting for K, like yeah, just like Bond, you very much so. It's like, yeah, okay, here's here's kind of. Uh, here are our characters, and eventually we'll actually go somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was good. Like, everything's there, production value-wise. Um, yeah. It's fine. We'll just, uh, you know, and I, I have no doubt that, that this whole show is in very good hands, but, uh, you know, just, it doesn't, it didn't grab me. Like, Bacchino's first episode was like, wow, you, okay, I'm I'm just going to watch the entire <laughs> thing. Like, you guys are, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I'm here for the whole thing. Like, let's go. Um <laughs> But yeah, this is sort of, and and at least the first episode of Bakano sort of set you up with the train, mm, uh, true. and like what's going to happen. Next. This one is just like, uh, okay, like Black Rider, like okay, <laughs> um, whatever. But yeah, it's you guys are going to watch. Like this is like the one interesting show of the season that doesn't like blatantly copy something else. Yeah. So you're probably all going to watch it regardless of what we say. But yeah, yeah, true. Okay, and um, and please, please, please watch this next show, Makoto Testo Shokanju, which we'll be talking about for the next ten minutes. Um, this came out on the left, left field. Um, I turned it on. I was like, okay, this is really do what the heck? Um, it's basically a a screwball goofy comedy, um, very self aware of anime cliches and leaps on them at every opportunity. Uh, <laughs> the the characters are. They're anime cliches, but they kind of know they're anime cliches, and uh, the show sort of beats on them mercilessly. Um, <laughs> Finally! <laughs> um, okay, and I, I'll have to share the one thing that we, we, we both talked about. Um, <laughs> so, the setup is that the characters, of course, go to an, an elite academy where you, you battle each other for basically good classrooms. Um, and uh, when you do so, literally, like, the hallways transform into a battle space, and little, like, super deformed versions of you show up. So in the first fight, we see two characters, you know, summon in a very sort of Digimon, Pokemon style, you know, summon thing. Uh, and these characters appear. Um, the busty girl goes through a complete new transformation sequence. Um, out of her school uniform, back into her school uniform. <laughs> um, at which point she goes, why did I do a new transformation sequence? What was the point of that? Uh, and then we immediately cut to something else. You know, it's just, that's the kind of humor... <laughs> You have in this show. It is awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, lots of over, over drama, dramatized stuff. Uh, very, it's very screwball, very, yes, like we, we need more of this. Like it, it totally understands it's anime. It makes fun of that. But it's, it's just awesome. I'm actually waiting for the video game, which, yeah. uh, like honestly, I, I this sounds like you know like Persona Three in a way, um, and almost like a rip off, or not a rip off, but like a parody of some of those mm -hmm. games, some of the JRPGs that are more like that, that are like here's a whole world to walk around in. Um, but my absolute favorite of the season so far, like the first episode, I was just like, yeah, this is um, I'll follow this like <laughs> the whole thing, <laughs> um, unless it dive bombs next episode. This is something you need to watch. Um, and I, you know, maybe it'll get pigeonholed, but usually good stuff that's not being fan sub tends to get picked up. I mean, when Album Gaku, which those of you who haven't watched it, go out and and watch this thing called Blue Literature or Album Gaku. You need to do it right now. Um, like honestly, you you should. Masterpiece just released a. Never mind. Um. Anyway, I uh, awesome show. I'll be there, but. I don't think it's going to get pushed aside. Uh, it's not being simulcast, and GG has nothing better to do. So, uh, well, at least I'd like to think that. But yeah, here's hoping. All right, so that's it for this segment. We